dying to know is, do they reassemble once the frequency is back in the area? We pass that question on to Matt, and he says that he's prepared to give us an answer, and he joins us now. Matt, thank you for coming. So we're talking about the nano circuitry that you found. So uh, here with image number one, this is just some examples of what I call circuit-looking things, and then I go into a couple of... Or nanostructures of sorts. It's not a matter of belief, Stu. That's hard evidence that we have. And we can also see different kind of structures self-assembling. One could be perhaps described as electronic circuitry, and the other could be these electronic structures and testing them. Unfortunately, they don't like us to have um, convenient access to the vials and so on. So we have to do all this uh, in an underground sort of way. But
further um, produce these these tubes that we're looking at. Now, uh, is that and, and what these... Dr. Jane possibly found with uh, the embalmer Richard Hirschman? You said it, calcium deposits, and I know they're finding white fibrous clots. Is this related in any way? It is, and I've also been in discussion with Mike Adams about the, those clots that Dr. Jane Ruby brought to the attention of the globe. And um, in the patent, there's some further definition and explanation of what those biosynthetic materials are, as well as chelation treatments. So chelation is a way to actually dissolve and remove these clots. And Mike Adams is currently experimenting on uh, with a few uh, chemicals uh, that would be safe uh, for for injection in the human body that may work on these. But yeah, the, this is this is essentially a version of what Dr. Jane Ruby's um, embalmers had found. It's certainly a version of it. So we're looking at nano size, and as you look at the patents, they they grow from nano size to micrometers to uh, millimeters to centimeters. And, this is and some so scary stuff. I can't believe.